Oh, it's time to say goodbye to Rashiram and hi to Zekrom. Yep, I'm already in the red, but hi, hi to all of you guys. Yes. So Zekrom is finally here. This dragon, an electric type Pokemon, is a Pokemon that I have been waiting so long to want to get. So I actually hopped in the raid and the lobby was left with 30 seconds with 15 people in the lobby and eventually it went up to 19 people. So yes, uh, I'm using the recommended party that the algorithm has recommended to me. Alright, full party of a uh, fairy type Pokemon because Zekrom, being a dragon and electric type Pokemon, is weak to four typings. Fairy, Ice and Dragon, basically that's the weakness of the Dragon typing that it has. And Ground is going to be the other super effective fast and charge move that you can use against the electric typing that Zekrom has. So remember, Fairy, Ice, Dragon and Ground, okay? So, the number that we are looking for is definitely not this. Oh yeah, cool, my neighbor. Thank you for the friendship, man. So... The number that you're looking for is exactly the same number that you want to look for for Reshiram. Alright, for the Hundo, both the non-weather booster and the boosted ones are 2307 and 2884. So this is not a weather boosted or in fact a Hundo non-weather boosted at all. But I'm still going to catch it. Okay, let's see how... It looks to me that as if it's almost the same uh, distance as Reshiram. Yeah, okay. I mean, wow, it looks really cool, man. The tail actually lights up when it does its attack. I'm going to catch it since it's my very first Zekrom. And like I told you guys in my previous videos, I always catch the very first... Okay, so I need to make the circle a bit smaller. I always catch the very first legendary Pokemon when it's released into the game so that I can start using rare candies on it. Subsequently, the second and third and whatsoever that I do not catch, I can always just let them go, let them run if they're not good IV ones. What the? Did I circle lock and locked it at excellent? Sometimes it happens, right? You guys can let me know in the comment section down below. It happens to me a few times where you see, then the circle went back to great again. Okay, that is utterly weird, but... We should be fine. That should be the excellent. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got the hang of it already, especially holding my camera and having the iPad being placed over there like this in this position. I told you it's a bit weird for me to um, throw the balls like this. I'd rather use my left hand, which I'm using to hold the camera actually. Oh, I thought it, I thought it, it, it faked me. <laughs> it did a pump fake, man. Yep, um, like what JT Gilly always say, pump fake, right? Stop pump. Stop pumping. Yeah, stop pumping the ball. I'm supposed to be the one pumping the ball. I'm the one with the ball, man. Anyway, that's a basketball term. Yeah, which I do... Uh, I did that last time also. Pump fake people when I play basketball. So, yes! We got it. First, Zekrom registered to the Pokedex! And it's a lousy IV one. But like I say, I'm going to keep it. And hopefully I can get enough candies to power it up. And Zekrom is a very, 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 very strong Pokemon, Okay. Not only just in the Master League, but also for PvE, player versus environment. So it has access to Dragon Breath and also a variety of other charge moves that is really, really strong. Just having access to Dragon Breath alone makes it really, really strong. Unfortunately, the fast move for the electric type fast move that it has is Charge Beam. Um, but still, it is the number one Pokemon for electric type right now okay um i would try to get myself a hundred percent if uh, the moves suddenly change in the future you know you can always use elite tms to change them to a better one right so anyway i'm gonna start looking for zacroms um the eggs hopefully i can look for some and oh what nominate businesses for uh, okay i'll read that later but cool i'm gonna fit this gym and then i'm gonna hit the word central to look for more rates, okay? Let's go! Hey yo guys, look at the weather. Yep, it's about to rain already. I think Zekrom is trying to bring the thunder and lightning to us. Yep, rain, rain, okay, sure. But yes, an egg is hatching in 10 seconds from now, just over there up ahead. I 
do not know if there's gonna be a lot of people at that rate or not because well it is raining already and not many people actually do purchase the remote rate pass and furthermore um, I mean since it is the first day of uh, Zekrom I guess there will be people let's go ahead and throw my pass right now and let's see um, how it goes okay okay there are eight people already awesome I'm gonna put my camera down I'm gonna drive to the other side because the light is green for me to go already okay well looks like I spoke too soon full lobby 20 people I think a lot of people are super duper excited to read this legendary Pokemon including myself so right now if we look at the recommended party they recommended me uh, Dialgia, Palkia and also Groudon as I guess this three Pokemon have one of the highest TDO total damage output as compared to the other Pokemon of course if you really really want to use the highest TDO for uh, against Zekrom it would be Garchomp as it triple resists electric and also I guess Zekrom itself also since it double resist electric and then the third Pokemon would be Dialgia already I don't think there's any other Pokemon that comes before Dialgia after those two that I've mentioned Garchomp and also uh oh what's that a Pokemon that I mentioned Zekrom yeah sorry everything that I'm saying to you get yeah, you guys are just off memory okay and off just calculation right now um Palkia seems alright unless it has Dragon Breath Outrage if it has Charge Beam and also Wild Charge I don't think Palkia will be recommended right will it? So let's see what moveset this Zekrom has okay I'm not too sure Hmm okay It has Charge Beam as the fast move Okay let's see what's the other move then I mean, definitely Rayquaza, Dragonite, anything that's flying, right, wouldn't be recommended. Flash Cannon. Oh, okay, okay. So that explains why Palkia is recommended since water resists steel. Yep, and it's going down really, really quickly. I don't think a lot of us will have a problem taking this legendary Pokemon down as I don't think that it is that strong. And in my opinion, the way it looks, it doesn't look as great as Reshiram. Yeah, Reshiram, I said in my video, it looks really majestic. Whereas this one looks... I do not know how to describe it, okay? And the cry of this Zekrom just now when I tapped on the gym, I heard the cry. It doesn't sound as if it's really strong, okay? Let's uh, go ahead to see the number. I didn't see the shrinking number. Yeah, you guys can hear the cry. It sounds... It doesn't sound strong to me. Yeah, it can be stronger. That's my take. You guys can let me know what you guys think or so. But I'm not going to catch this Zekrom anymore since I've already caught my first one. And there's another Zekrom over there with 25 minutes left. And another Zekrom over there with 16 minutes left. Um, I checked both of them already there. Ain't anybody. So I'm unable to do them at all. Oops, wrong one. Yep, I've checked them already. You guys will not see the cry or hear the cry of the Zekrom again if you actually tap on the gym the second time. And there's an egg that's hatching in 25 minutes over there. Which I'm not too sure if I'm going to wait for it or not. Yep, I am on my second Zekrom raid. Hopefully I can find another maybe 8 more to show you guys. So let's go ahead to not see this egg hatch but go to the next Zekrom raid, alright? Alright guys, the rain is getting heavier and heavier as I speak. But I'm here, alright? And the Zekrom has just hatched also. Another raid that's over there that's hatching in 39 minutes. I'm gonna get into the lobby and also I'm gonna set up my camera here on my dashboard. So let's throw the pass for this raid first. Okay, I'm in a new lobby. Uh, okay, let's hope there are another group of people who's gonna go into it. So you guys know that um, there's actually only a maximum number of 10 people who can actually get into the lobby if we all use the remote raid pass the remaining 10 people all right the 10 slots will have to be given to those people who are you know at the gym itself to use their free rate pass or premium rate pass that's why that happened though just now that rate that lobby had like 11 or 12 people but i'm brought to a new one for those of you who are wondering how it works well um i can give you a bit more detail so basically if you are the 11th person who use your 
premium, not premium, remote rate pass, you basically go into a new lobby, okay? So if you see a lobby with 18 people, for example, and then if you throw your pass, assuming nobody else actually threw the pass um, the same time as you, um, and you get thrown into a new lobby, that means 10 of the people in that previous lobby were using the remote rate pass, and then eight of them were using the free rate pass or the premium rate pass to do it when they are physically there. So that's why a lot of people actually get confused. Hey, there's like only 13 people or 15 people in the lobby. Why am I kicked out into a new lobby? Why can't I go into that lobby? You know, then they exit, then they try again, then they exit, then they try again. But you can never get into that lobby as long as there are 10 people using the remote rate pass in that lobby itself. Anyway, I'm gonna put my camera down, okay? The race is about to start. Yep. Well, okay, I think my camera is finally properly set up over there. And I just wanna add on one more thing about the remote rate pass thing that I just mentioned, which is, I feel Niantic should actually add on like, you know, another layer over there, not just to show us how many people are there in the lobby in total, but also to show us how many people actually use the remote rate pass so that at least we know whether the lobby is going to be full or is it already full of players using the remote rate pass and we don't get in a way tricked to actually throw our pass and you know there, there, there weren't anybody in the lobby at all yeah i've suffered it many many times sometimes i even would burn like 10 to 15 remote rate passes in a day yeah when i see the oh god 18 people in the lobby then when i throw my pass i was like okay i'm the only one in the lobby and I wait, wait for two minutes. Nobody came in at all. And I basically got screwed. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out this Zachrom. Nope, not a good IV one. Let's run from it. Let's go ahead and look for other rates. All right, let's go. You know, guys, I'm going to tell you guys something about me and my team last time when we used to rate really, really hard last time before the algorithm for the recommended party was in a way improved. We were always skeptical about the recommended party that was recommended to us. But right now, you know, we don't really have to be worried about that because the algorithm is definitely way better than last time when they used to recommend us like blissies or whatsoever. So right now, since Dogekiss is out, I doubt this um, Zekrom has Wild Charge or even Flash Cannon. I'll be very surprised if it does. All right, it has Outrage. So that proves it, you know, that, you know, um, the algorithm is right. So, you know, to make things easier for yourself, you can always power up like all these Pokemon that I've just mentioned, like um, Groudon, um, Garchomp, Togekiss, etc. Those Pokemon, the four typings that I mentioned that is going to do super effective to Zekrom, Ice Dragon, um, Fairy, and Ground, okay? <laughs> yep, you can power up four of this typing Pokemon and then you know the recommended party will serve you well in a situation like this that you don't have to figure oh what's the move what's the move what's the move you know you can figure it out just by looking at your recommended party that's the good thing about the current algorithm right now I must say all right so all right this Zekrom is finally down which is Zekrom rate number four oops collection food but it's okay I saw the CP it was two two three two okay I'm gonna transfer some of my Pokemon first. Yes, I did a Timber Raid also. Let's go ahead too because there's another raid over there that I think just hatched. So I need to get rid of those Pokemon first. Let's do that. Uh huh, the Zekrom. That's not the Zekrom. Okay, this is the Zekrom. Yeah. So for me to have my collection full and for me to notice the number, the shrinking number 2232, it's technically the same as me running away from it. Of course, if it's 100% IV, then I'll be screwed. So, I still get the rewards, you know, the rare candies, the items and whatnot. But, yeah, that's the only um, thing that I need to look out for, you know. The shrinking number, if it's a hundo, then of course I need to U-turn to like, <laughs> tap on the gym again to get it, right? So anyway, um, another raid. This is going to be raid number 5, okay? So I'm just going to use the recommended party that, you know, is given to me. But sometimes I feel that it's really odd. You guys can see in a situation like this. Why is my 98% IV Groudon ranked first as compared to my 100% IV Groudon? And it's not bringing out my Master League Groudon also. It's really, really weird. Not as if my Master League Groudon does not have Earthquake, you know, or even Mud Shot. They all have the same move, Mud Shot and also Earthquake. But 
why isn't my you know pvp crowd on coming out i mean if you're gonna tell me say that the earthquake is the third move the third charge move i tell you no because the earthquake is the second charge move what you mean there's a mixture between uh, the fire punch and also the earthquake that not allow my Groudon this rank 1 you know 100% IV Groudon to be recommended <laughs> I don't get the logic sometimes you know when it comes to this kind of uh, recommendation from um, the algorithm also okay and that was down in just a minute and let's see now 2297 hmm this is a 96% okay I'm still not gonna catch it Okay, because I want a handle on 98 And the 98 must be 2, 3, something, something Yup, so next week Hey Rayquaza, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you, why are you blocking the screen, man? That's not my Rayquaza I'm using Toga Kiss Yeah, never mind The Zekrom is dead And this is raid number 6 Okay, please give me something good. Oh, 2263. No, that's not good enough, guys. Goodbye. Read number seven. Do, 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 do. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> ah, next. LOL, guys. Raid number 8 Alright And my friend He messaged me And told me that We were in the same lobby Ian Yep Ian shout out to you man Yeah <laughs> We're gonna Check Actually we don't have to check There's no shiny Zekrom yet And we already know The CP2247 So <laughs> Screw this Bye Alright guys I do not know If you guys can hear that Okay Definitely yes Because the rain Is getting way Heavier than what I've expected but it's okay I'm gonna head towards my home direction and hopefully I can clear another few more raids so this is going to be raid number 9 okay 2273 goodbye mm -hmm. this is utterly weird my master league toge case with ancient power and flamethrower is recommended oh well um, Zekrom with the CP of 2790 You know, weather boosted right now Since it's raining heavily It should have been weather boosted like long ago But, yep I'm not gonna catch it Since it's not 100% IV But that is basically rate number 10 For Zekrom Caught one Yay! Okay, so that is basically all that I have to show you guys For my first few rates of doing a uh, Zachrom. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me take on Zachrom. I know it's a quick one, it's a short one. No, actually maybe it's not a short video, but yep, I'm gonna head back home right now. I'm also going to work on this video and then uh, maybe later once uh, I have a bit of more time to head on out again to read a bit more, I will actually do that. So, yep. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have, don't forget to leave a like and also to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about Zekrom generally as a Pokemon and also whether you guys like the design, like the cry, um, what you guys not like about it. You guys can also let me know in the comment section down below. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, stop raining already. It's been raining for so many days consecutively that ah, I just want to see the sun I just want to see the sun more often hopefully tomorrow it will you know not rain although I mean technically speaking it's a good thing since Zachron will be weather boosted right <laughs> yep alright goodbye 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 ah.